Music can also tell a story and transport an audience to places beyond the physical realm. Inner Circle Entertainment brought renowned sitarist Purbayan Chatterjee and ace tabla player Talvin Singh to the South African stage. And together, they brought about Raga Ecstasy. Producer, composer and tabla exponent Talvin Singh joined with top-ranking sitarist Purbayan Chatterjee to present a raga concert that brought to life the vibrant mix of heritage and innovation that's so characteristic of India. When I hear classical, it makes me think of those serious musicians. However, Raga Ecstasy is claiming to combine both classical Indian music with fusion styles. And I'm really curious to find out how this is going to turn out. The world-renowned duo was brought here by Nisar Pangakar. Telvin's been popular for popularizing a, a sub-genre called Asian Underground, which has become extremely popular for in the mid-90s, early 90s. And his works with major other international artists is testimony to that. So Raga Ecstasy, really tonight you'll have a bit of both, uh, contemporary and classical. It's moments before the Raga Ecstasy concert starts and I cannot wait to experience firsthand how classical Indian music meets fusion. A Raga consists of a melody based on a series of four or more notes. The actual notes, however, are not as important as the way in which the musicians approach them and the mood that they create. In performing a raga, the tabla player is an equal partner to the sitar rather than a mere accompanist. UK-based Talvin Singh is famous for his involvement in bringing these traditional drums to the Asian electronica scene, but he's perfectly at home in the classical style. Talvin, what was it like growing up in London? It's been great. You know, London is such an incredible um, city and it really does feel like you're in the kind of center of the world in terms of cu your cultural experience. When were you first introduced to the sounds of the tabla? The experience really came from, uh, from the temples because I, I, I grew up in a Sikh family and um, in Sikhism, you know, music is a very integral part. It's like 24 seven, there's always, uh, there's always food, there's always service, and there's always music. As an exponent of the sub-genre called Asian Underground, how did that come about? It happened in the late 90s when the samplers were around. I was sampling a lot of my own Indian classical records and then started sampling a lot of um, electro, hip-hop beats. And we started making this kind of drum and bass style with a strong Asian influence. So Asian Underground was like a new movement. It was a new way of kind of putting beats together, really. Kolkata born and bred, Purbayan Chatterjee grew up surrounded by music as his father was a highly respected sitar teacher and performed in the USA, Europe and India. Your father played a pivotal role in you taking up the sitar. How did this come about? When I was uh, six years old, uh, my, my dad went on a concert tour uh, in Switzerland and I ac accompanied him. And I think I was being very naughty and running around and being up to mischief. So, <laughs> so there was this little sitar lying around which belonged to uh, the son of one of his students. So they gave me this sitar uh, and that's how I started out. Purbayan, you are noted for combining traditional classical music with contemporary world music. What sparked this idea? I find that living in this urban contemporary world, there are things I want to express that I possibly sometimes cannot express only with classical music. For that, I need other sounds. Let's put it that way. His fascination with the duality of the universe has even inspired him to explore new ways of making music. You've designed and created a new instrument which you've called the duo. How did that come about? South Indian Carnatic musicians had electrified their instruments way back. The mandolin was always electrified. Instead of taking a sitar and trying to modify it, I did the opposite. I started looking at guitars and see that and, and, and figure out what exactly, you know, the, how the mechanism worked. 
So I, I you know, I, I designed an instrument which is solid body. My duo is solid body. So it is actually like an electric guitar with the neck of a sitar. What is the meaning behind duo? Duo, D-W-O, which was a cross between the Hindi word do, which means two, and the English word two. How has the duo been received by both the audience as well as industry members? Very well. I mean, you know, it has to, uh, it does not replace a sitar. It, it supplements a sitar. Natural resonant sound of the sitar is just irreplaceable and it's so beautiful. The theme of duality continued throughout the concert, with the two musicians evoking the contrast of light and shadow, night and day, in a performance that allowed the listener to transcend the day-to-day -day world.